Hey everybody, it's been a while and it's been a while because I've been busy with um, programming classes recently and I wanted to make this um, impromptu review. Here I have uh, the statue of Velvet Crow from Tales of Berseria brought to you by the people at Kot the people down at Kotobukiya. This is a 1 8 scale pre painted figure. And I got this at Anime Expo 2018. It's taken me a while to get to this because I've kind of been um, not feeling well. So, in, or in order to make up for lost time, I'm going to open this. Let me just, uh, hmm. uh, oh man, I've waited too long to uh, take this out of the box. Alright, let me get this off. And here is... Velvet Crow and all her glory. You know, I've actually been after this statue for quite some time. And the fact that I found an Anime Expo, I'd say I lucked out. I couldn't see an Anime Central, but I saw an Anime Expo, so I had to get it. I had to get it now. You see her um, signature outfit, the shirt, the shorts, armor, and and the jacket, the jacket she's wearing, um, as well as the bandages on her arm. You could tell, you could tell that she's she's been to hell and back, and. Um, she also has her um, signature um, arm blade. Look at that. See this? Love that. And the platform she's on. I think this, this looks clear. And look at the design. Overall, I think the um, I think the, the people who made this statue did a really fantastic job. And Tales of Berseria is one of my favorite RPGs, which I'm working on right now, as it is part of my video game backlog. And let's just have another view. Yep, Velvet Crow and all of her glory. I love the armor. You know, statues like these would make great cosplay references for anybody who's trying to make the costume. That's my opinion. But anyway, yeah, this is this has been oh, my review of Velvet Crow. And if you have not played Tales of Berseria yet, I suggest you play it. Seriously, it's a big is a big adventure you will not regret. But that's enough for now. Oh right, I almost forgot to mention. Um, my only my only disappointment was that she didn't come with her um, devil claw. And you know, I think it that's because. Um, that, that edition may have been a limited release. Something I couldn't get my hands on in time. But, with or without it, at least I have Velvet Crow in my collection. And, make sure you, 
like, comment, and subscribe if you um, are a fan of Tales of Berseria or any any of the video game statues I've reviewed. And wow, I think I might be wrapping it up with all the videos I make. 